Hi Scorpios, it's Leonore. Welcome to Soul Searching Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and supporting this channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Scorpios, this is going to be your Q&A love reading. Um, I should say your Q&A singles love reading. It is for my singles um, or for those who are just starting a new relationship, right? Um, and it's going to be for the next two months. So right now we're in mid-August. So this is good until sometime in October or whenever the message resonates. It doesn't really matter. Also check out the general readings. Um, I have all 12 zodiac signs out. So if you haven't checked out your general love readings, um, please do so. They're there. I just uploaded them this month. Um, and the bi-weekly energy reading, I just did the bi-weekly energy reading this past Sunday for August 16th through the 30th. So, you know, if you want to check it out, please do so. The timestamps are in the um, comment section. Um, I do have them by earth, air, water, and fire, but I have advice for each zodiac sign. So if you're trying to look for your advice for the next two weeks, as well as what's dictating you or affecting you in the cosmos for the next two weeks, please check out my bi-weekly energy reading, okay? All right, lastly, follow me on TikTok or Instagram. I do have nightly oracle messages there. Um, these oracle messages I created myself um, for singles, couples, finance, drama, <laughs> All right, so um, if you don't have TikTok, you can follow me on Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, you can follow me on TikTok. I do have them on both those um, platforms, okay? Let's get started. All right, so in these Q&A singles love reading, I do ask four specific questions. The first question is, who's thinking about you? Two, how does your new crush feel about you? Three, if your future long-term partner can write you a letter, what would it say? And four, does your new love come with baggage? Let's get started. One, Scorpios, who's thinking about you? All right, so I, of course, I always invite my cross watchers in this situation here these type of situations <laughs> high cross watches all right um what the heel i love these cards but they're so hard to read um all right all right so it could be a very strong earth sign it doesn't have to be um it's coming in strong, however. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could also be a Libra. Um, could be an Aries. Could be a Scorpio. All right. Um, like another Scorpio. All right. I've it's oh God. Um. You recently, okay, there's two stories here. So for some of you, you just recently met this person, reconnected with this person, you know, cause I do sense like, you know, this person, honestly, with the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Cups, um, I am sensing that, you know, honestly, for a majority of you, you already know this person. Um, I don't know who this person is to you. Could be a friend, could be a coworker, former co-worker could be um you know maybe for a tiny bit of you an ex i don't i don't sense it too strongly yet um but i i do sense maybe for a handful of you it could be you know <sighs> especially if they have water in their chart like cancer pisces scorpio um but anyway it is someone you know you know whether you've met this person for two minutes or two years, you know, like I just, it's someone you know, definitely. Um, it, I do sense very strongly that you either work with this person or exchange some type of money. I don't, that's, I don't know why that I'm hearing money 
um, like money exchange. They could have worked for you, something like that. Um, yeah, I, I honestly sense for the majority of you, like, it's someone you know, someone that you've connected with in the past. A lot of you, honestly, I, a lot of you, I don't, I'm just picking up a very strong energy of you working with this person or your business partners or you've collaborated in some type of project, you know? And if it's not that, it's a friend or some an acquaintance, do you know what I mean? I don't know, for, for those who are um, the ex situation, because I did pick up the other story was like for a handful of you, it's an ex. <sighs> it's a twin flame of yours. Um, and I, I know, I, I, I don't know why I'm feeling like some of you are asking me, I don't know if my ex is a twin flame. Girl, boy, bye. <laughs> Um, you know, I, I personally, personally feel that, and you know what, honestly, it, for some of you Scorpios, both stories could apply, I'm not going to lie. Like you have two people coming towards you, like an ex and, you know, maybe this new person or this acquaintance that you've met in the past. Um, <sighs> this twin flame of yours, Scorpios, vice versa, if it's vice versa, um, was toxic. I manipulative, um, addicted to something. Okay, so I I was gonna go into the story of twin flames and shit like that. I forget it. I'm not. I'm what I am going to do is tell you their characteristic traits. So if that rings a bell, that's your twin flame, right? Not saying that you that this person is 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 completely. A bad person um, they are hard workers um, meaning they they um, they have good work ethics you know but they they have their issues do you know all right let's move on to the next question my Scorpios how does your new um, how does your new crush feel about you how does your new crush feel about you interesting this is a lot of energy all right um hmm interesting how my three of cups and three of cups lines up this is interesting i have three of cups two times right it doesn't whatever it happens i'm using four different type of tarot deck well three and 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 three plus one oracle cards but oracle card um oracle cards but what i find interesting is that i have three of cups that came out for your first question and three of cups that came out for your second question and they came out like this lining up together Some of you are dealing with like another Scorpio or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, again, a very strong water placement is coming up. It doesn't have to be those signs, right? I, I'm just letting you know. Okay. Now, the question is, how does your new crush feel about you? They feel that you're um, distracted. Could be, and I don't know how you're distracted because that could be different stories for some of you. It could be your job is distracting you. Your family's distracting you. Um, 
maybe you're going through something personal and that's distracting you from this relationship with the Six of Swords and the Three of Cups. Um, they just find you a little distracted and or they don't feel that you're paying enough attention to them. Um, but then there's an ex situation again. It could be someone you share a child with, doesn't have to be, but you, with the judgment card here and the Ten of Cups, um, it is a different energy. I'm not there, you know, I am sensing two. I, it's either one, it's either one story for you, my Scorpios. For some of you, it's two people coming towards you um, in this reading. And I am, you know, it's whatever. It's two stories or you pick one story, my Scorpios, or <laughs> again, for some of you, it's both stories, okay? Like the X, but there, there's two energies nonetheless. And um, there's somebody that wants to reconcile with you with the judgment card and the Ten of Cups. Um, this person sees you like their family. Do you know? Um, that just really bothered me just now when I said that. I don't know why it bothered me. Like I felt it in the pit of my... Um, not the pit of my stomach. It kind of felt like the pit of my stomach. But like this piercing in my heart. <sighs> um, this person might have cried for you recently, you know. Um, or um, they, miss, they really missed the shit out of you, Scorpio. Um, okay, that was really um, hurtful right there. All right. Um, so to end this question, how does my, um, or how does your new crush feel about me? How does my, or your new crush, whatever. I tried, I, I, I used to say, how does my new crush feel about me? Um, of course, I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to my viewers. And I was like, you know, I just changed it to your. How does your new crush feel about you, right? But I'm like, what this, whatever, what's the difference? I just don't want to make it seem like I'm talking about my, this is not my rating. <laughs> I was so used to saying, how does my new crush feel about me? Who's thinking about me, you know? But I'm talking to you, my viewers. Um, anyway, whatever, I digress. Uh, they um they want to hang out with you oh this is so sweet they want to hang out with you they love your company oh my god this is crazy they love your company um look at that six of cups all right this is another energy um page of wands with the nine of cups um this cute little situation here um they okay so this person really wants to hang out with you they love hanging out with you or they really you know if you haven't spoken to this person because obviously right i am talking about the next two months so it's either currently happening for some of you right because some of you are already connected to someone new um and then for the rest of you you know you are still single and so, obviously, if I'm reading for the next two months, um, it's a, a, a prediction, right? That's what you call it, a prediction, psychic reading. This person, oh my God, but this is the new person though, Scorpios. This person just is going to adore your company with the page of wands and the nine of cups oh god i feel you there's two people i i can't i'm over it and then this is the other this is the x okay then let's go to the x situation i don't know what to tell you yeah so the, the and it's again it's it has to be somebody with a very strong water sign i it, i am picking up picking that up very strongly this is the third time i'm picking up a water sign so some of you may be dealing with another water sign okay so cancer pisces scorpio um or it could be a um a, an earth sign i am picking both like earth or water sign um you know they may have that in their chart so taurus virgo capricorn has well um, there's something about coffee that you two may like. Um, I don't know if you drank coffee together with this um, 
you know, ex of yours. It could be tea. It doesn't have to be coffee, obviously. I just drink a lot of coffee. Um, but it could be um, tea. You guys have such a past life together, you know? I mean, I did say Twin Flames. And it came right underneath the Twin Flame situation. Right? Karmic soulmate for some of you. Um, the devil with the Six of Cups. Like, this is... Like, I'm over it, my lovely... Scorpios, this is really an ex of yours, um, and 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 again, it, it is for a handful of you, because I am sensing two stories, right? Two different energies again. Um, for some of you who haven't met this person yet, you will meet this amazing, beautiful person um, that really adores you. Um, but then you have this ex lingering, you know. Um, and then for some of you, it's just the ex. For some of you, there is no ex really involved or twin flame karmic you know, person. Um, but nonetheless, you still have this beautiful energy coming towards you. All right, let's see. Third question. If your future long-term partner can write you a letter, what would it say? Let's find out. All right, so in these letters, I like to make them in love letter format. So just bear with me while I read the energy. It could be love letter. It could be just a letter. It could you just be a friendly letter? I don't know. I don't know. Judgment again. Interesting. Um. Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's see. What do I got here? To whom it may concern. I can't wait to see you, to undress you. And if I can't undress you at the moment, I would love to just touch your skin. I like the way it feels against my hands. I love the way you smell. I love to see your neck. I love touching feet with you, playing footsie underneath the table or on our bed. I like it when it's dark and we still just have a candle burning in the background or the television on. You are someone that I want to spend my life with. It's not a joke. And I hope you take me serious. Because I want to come towards you to offer you a steady relationship. I would like to marry you one day. And I hope that you're on board. And even if you're not, if it takes me a while to convince you that I'm the one for you, then so be it. You make the perfect partner for me. And I know I'm the perfect partner for you. The end. Ooh, Scorpios. My Scorpios. Who is this? <laughs> Um, this is totally the new energy. I'm so glad this ex situation did not mingle into this one. You know, I mean, whatever. I mean, listen, I know there are stories out there where the ex comes along and if it's meant to be for you guys to come back together, because I do have the judgment card here two times. I'm not, I'm not going to lie, you know, and then I was talking about the twin flame situation, karmic situation, um, you know, to see the judgment card here two times. I listen, I understand that, you know, it, sometimes there is, you know, stories out there, love stories out there where you recon reconcile with an ex. However, I'm sensing toxicity in some shape, form or other. So I, I don't know who this applies to. That's just that. But this love letter, this beautiful ooh, sexual love letter. Um, 
you know this person really really like that's not a like what are you kidding me the knight of cups with the lovers back to back scorpios this new person is too much for me <laughs> all right last question Ooh, this is the drama one this is the drama is the drama ready does this person come with baggage who doesn't nowadays does this person come with baggage all right let's see oh i'm sensing now but wait hold on a second hold on hold up okay this is interesting but okay i think it's you with the baggage this is interesting um and i'll tell you who this applies to the x situation the ex that doesn't want to leave the ex that's lingering for some of you so if if it's you it's you scorpio if it's this person it's this person right maybe this person's ex is the situation right maybe some of you are like i don't my i don't i nip that ex in the butt that that's that that's a long gone situation and he definitely or she definitely was not a twin flame karmic but not twin flame but whatever it doesn't matter it could be this person's ex. It could be your ex. So there is some form of baggage here. Absolutely. Without a doubt. It, it's And it's someone's ex. And just to make it very clear, um, either you or this person is not interested in the past. They're not. Or you're not, right? You would know that more than me, Scorpios, if it is your ex. Um, yeah. No. No. You know, I, honestly, other than that, there's no, there's no baggage. It's just the X. However, these two cards came out. This is interesting. <sighs> what is going on here? Some of you, um, either you or this person are going through this um, spiritual journey here with the high priestess and the wheel of fortune. You could be dealing with someone that has a very strong, um, ninth or 12th house placement which is um sagittarius or um pisces or you may have that in your chart if this is you going through this spiritual journey but you know what this is this is you coming into this lifetime with this spiritual agenda um i know it may not apply for all of you but, you know, spirituality doesn't have to be just one route, you know, spirituality doesn't have to be just, you know, about religion or the occult. Um, it could be, you know, counseling, you know, some form of counseling, public speaking, um, you know, something where you help, you help people, you know, it's, it's a selfless job. Or, you know, some of you, if it's not a, a job, it's, you know, it could be volunteer work or something like that, you know? Um, and that's amazing. I feel like maybe both of you have this quality. Um, and if it's not both of you, it's just you, right? Or this person. All right, that was your reading, my darling Scorpios. If you need a private reading, my email is in the description box. Love you. Bye.